Warmly welcome everyone to the quick tips in Microsoft Business Application series. Episode 8 Advanced Grid Filters. I have got an amazing guest, uh, Lin, joining with me today for quick tips in Microsoft Business Applications episode to share quick tips in advanced filtering uh, feature. Uh, he's an avid blogger and a power platform enthusiast, a speaker and a community contributor. So I will hand it over to Lin to introduce himself to the audience and to show us his amazing demo he has prepared for us. Thank you, Lin. Thanks and over to you. Thank you, Kirsten. Thanks for having me in your show. Yeah, I'm Lin and I work at DXT Technology in New Zealand, Wellington, and my main focus is in the Dynamics 365 customer service engagement. Well, it, that used to call me CE, but now we they call it yeah. the first party model driven apps. Yeah. And I came from the CRM background and I start I walk it I worked as a developer in the CRM and now doing the technical consulting part of the Dynamics 365s and power platform area. So Today's tip that I would like to share with you all is the, the new advanced filtering panel feature that is introduced as part of the train journey release wave one. So this is equivalent to the advanced fine feature in the Dynamics 365. And this is now working fine in the unified interface, just like advanced fine in the legacy web client. So in order to start opening this advanced filtering panel, we just click on this filter on the top of the view. And it will show the current filter. For example, this is the active account, so it shows the, the current filter on the current view. So if we want to add more uh, filter and we just add and then we can add all these um, fields which are not even on the view and for example it begins with the C and we want to filter all these filter accounts and it shows all these things and we can notice that there's an asterisk on the on the view name so that means the current view has been filtered and we can remove the filter by clicking the clear filters and then we'll go back to the, the normal filtering view. So if you don't want an advanced filtering view and you, you, you just want to filter on the, the columns that you can see on this form, you can just filter by clicking on the view that you want to filter. And for example, we want to find the accounts which are in the Redmond area. And then we can all this thing. And in order to save the filter that we filter on the view, we can create a click on this create a view, uh, fly out the menu, and there's a called, thing called save filter as the new view. So we can click on that and we can create as the new view. So active accounts in Redmond. So this is how we create a new view, so the user views will be shown under my view area. And if you want to update the existing view, for example, I want to filter account in Redmond areas, but I want to sort based on the primary contact. And then I want to sort in the stacks overview, so I press shift on the keyboard and I select another sorting, so it will be sorted by multiple columns. And then we can save this view by, we can create a, a save this filter as a new view, or we can save to this current view. So if you save to the current view, it will override the, the view that we just created this active accounts in Redmond. So another one of the quick tips that I want to share is um, so in this filtering for the date, we don't have this feature called 
we have a lot of uh, conditions to filter the date, but let's say we want to filter the records with the date value, which is earlier than today. So we, we don't have actually have that kind of condition, like uh, earlier than today, older than today. So yeah. what we can do is we can choose the last X years and we choose 200 years. And then if we apply this, we can only see the records which are older than today date. Yeah, that's what okay. I would like to check us in. Yeah, that's a, that's a great uh, tips actually there yeah, from Lynn. And uh, I will leave uh, the Lynn's uh, blog in the comments. And uh, thanks Lynn for joining uh, with us in this episode. And uh, stay tuned for more episodes coming up. And thanks for watching this episode. Mm -hmm.